Hi everyone, in this video I will be unboxing the Tritium board which is a single board computer in the with the with the small form factor of the Raspberry Pi 3 which means that this is basically a clone well not basically a clone of the Raspberry Pi 3 but it's based on the same architecture uh, it uses the ARM CPU and it's the same form factor so basically it looks like a clone but internally it is not a clone so yeah I have it I have the box here which I got from Kickstarter this is my reward that I got um, for pledging on their campaign in Kickstarter and so this is the box that I received in the mail you can see I, I took out the the labels, the shipping labels that were here of course I don't want that be, to be shown in the video so I took it out so the real stuff is inside this box so this unboxing is complete I mean because I'm opening the box as I got it from the mail so yeah I'm going to open here I'm opening the box and so I believe I need uh, to open it from here yeah so now I think I also need um, at least they sealed the box pretty well which is good yeah exactly and now for this, this other side as well mm -hmm. All right, so I'll be opening the box. So my reward had the following items. So it should be inside here. There should be the Tritium 2 gigabyte board. There's uh, there is the heatsink and fan. Um, it is actually a uh, heatsink, uh, active cooling yeah active cooling so yeah it has a fan of course um case um there should be the, the micro usb power and there should be an emnc module as well so that that are the stuff that must be here so let's start here we have the emnc module this is a uh, an eight gigabyte module although it isn't specified here it should be the eight gigabyte module it's an EMNC module and there is the Libre Compute Libre Computer board here LH3CC this is the 3 gigabyte version I mean 2 gigabyte version so this is the box again um, we have here the heatsink for the board the heatsink and here is the active cooling PC case. This is the the case for the board. You can hear the screws basically. And by being active it means that it has a fan. So yeah. We'll open it later. And here is the power supply cable for the board. Which is a 5 volt and 2.5 amps cable. So yeah this is the power supply for the board so that's what came with the box and now let's proceed to opening each item so I'll be opening first the computer board the single board computer which is here so as I I, I let you see earlier this is the box and so I open it here and I'll be taking it out slowly. Yeah, so here it is. There's nothing more. Here's the board. Which I'll be taking very carefully, carefully out of here. And yeah this is the board and this is the 64-bit version because it has an h5 processor here arm processor all winner 
H5 and these are the RAMs and um, this is the 2 GB version pretty much the same form factor as the Raspberry Pi and here goes the EMC module which I will be unboxing in a moment which is this, this goes here and the micro SD slot for micro SD HDMI, um, micro USB this seems to be some kind of sensor uh, this must be for the camera um, the header pins audio jack Ethernet and four USB C uh, USB ports. I, I confuse sometimes this with USB C because um, I did some videos earlier about the some USB C stuff. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. I apologize. Um, EMC module. Let's take this out as well. So we see here there's a USB cable. Um, this is a surprise having this cable. I wonder what this cable does. Not really sure. So here is the module, the EMNC module. Let's see if I can focus this. Wait a second. Yeah, there we have it. Which is by Hynix, yeah, Hynix Inand. So this is the EMNC module. And this goes, let's change this to out of focus. This goes here. Yep. And again, I have no idea why, it, what, for what is this cable. The box doesn't mention anything, so not really sure. But it came with a cable. So next we have the heat, heat sink here. Really big heat sink that we got. So this is for the CPU. It must be for the CPU. Yeah, it is for the CPU, which comes here, and it also um, works for the RAM. So with this, I believe the performance should be really great, which is helpful if we are going to use this for mining. I mean, not mining is not the correct word. It, it's actually um, volunteer computing because I'm going to use this for volunteer computing in the Boink platform so that's my intention with this board it looks really great and yeah so lastly here is the active cooling case which I'm going to take out carefully because there must there oh yeah you, you can see the screws are are inside here so yeah I'm going to put it here it comes with instructions. Let me see. There's a uh, fan speed wire on, pin, on pins 3, 2, 3. So basically, you connect the fan in this port, the port listed over here. GPIO, secure mounting screws, all of that. So yeah. But yeah, there are more screws over here. It doesn't tell how to open this. Yeah, there's uh, more screws over here. So I don't want to break it, so I will not be opening it here in this video. I will see if I can open it later. But yeah, basically what we have over here, let me organize this better. Everything that came is the active cooling case, the power supply, the tritium board, the heat sink and it also came with this cable which I don't know why what is it proposed and the boxes yeah pretty much this is what came with my Kickstarter pledge now I will be looking how to install an operating system because this is the 64-bit version and as far as I know there's no OS at this moment um, there's a comment that says that uh, an image build for the Orange Pi PC2 um, works partially with this port so I may take a look into that for, to be able to use this board to its fullest potential 
and also what else yeah basically that's it for this video um you need a micro usb um card to install the operating system and there should be an option to move the os to the emmc so i'll be taking a look into that as well and yeah basically this is all for this unboxing video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like this video comment on it share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching